Hi everybody, I am so, so very excited. Today is the official launch, soft launch, of the brand new Invisible People. Before I show you the new Invisible People, let me explain a little how we got there. A little over 10 years ago, I was experiencing extended unemployment it was a really dark time. Literally, I was eating dollar pizzas from Ralph's Grocery Store, which are pretty much cardboard and tomato sauce on top. I did not know if I was going to make it because I was crashing back into homelessness for a second time. One day, I grabbed the camera and I went out and I started empowering homeless people to share their own stories. I was a TV producer by trade, which I now call a broadcast dinosaur. And back then I had an Avid workstation, which was the software most commonly used to edit television shows. But when my house went into foreclosure, I lost the computer. So I had this dinky camera and I had this laptop that couldn't edit video. And one day I just said, you know what? Nobody's going to watch this stuff. I need to give myself purpose. I would love to tell you that Invisible People started because I wanted to change the world, but the truth is I needed a reason to get up in the morning. I took $45, leased some server space, hacked out a WordPress theme, and when I mean hacked, I changed the photo at the top. This is the first Invisible People right there. That's what I started with $45 and a dinky laptop that couldn't cut video and a camera that was, you know, I mean, Best Buy wouldn't even sell probably this camera. Last year, Invisible People had 26 million views on YouTube and we generated over a billion impressions on social media. And no small nonprofit, and I'll argue even large nonprofit with million dollar budgets, even comes close to the reach we have, and we have hardly no budget at all. Around two years ago, I started the process working to change invisible people. At the time, we didn't have any money. Now, money helps a lot, but I really believe that. Lack of money should not stop you from moving forward, especially when it's a cause like helping to end homelessness. Then about a year in, a couple of major donors, Kurt, Dorit and Al, and Haynes Brand, all helped support this new vision. I looked at where we were at and I said, you know what? I'm going to start from scratch. So a year ago, I just scrapped everything and we started working on the new invisible people that you see today. Part of the brand refresh was a whole new brand identity and we started right with the logo. The logo has meaning. Reach people, open discussion, create visibility, homeless people become visible. This is the new Invisible People website and it completely changes what we do for the better. First off, when you go to learn more, there's a bunch of articles written by the Center for Social Innovation on homelessness. Up until now, people outside of the homeless services sector, often young adults, looking for information on a homework assignment did not have a place online to quickly and easily learn about homelessness. They had to sift through academic content, download a 46 page PDF, or go through all this material that is spun for fundraising. Now there is a place online for people to learn about homelessness. And of course, the stories that we're known for the real first person raw unedited stories of homelessness, they're still here. That is the foundation of our work. That's never gonna change. But what we've added is now a new section. We have hired journalists in several different countries to write about homelessness. We're also making it a priority 
to hire people who have lived experience of homelessness. One of the ones I'm so proud of is we sent Ocean, who's a journalist up in the Bay Area, into a self-governed, city-sanctioned homeless camp to write about the people there. And my friend Derek, who I haven't met yet, he's part of our online support group for homeless people. Little side note, Derek is running for mayor of Oakland. And I wish I was there because he'd have my vote. And whenever possible, we will hire writers who have lived experience to write about what it was like being homeless. Here, Jocelyn, who spent 10 months in a New York City shelter system with her husband, is going to be bringing us along through that journey. We've also broken down all the articles and all the stories by location and by topic. Down the road, what is going to happen is when you click on a location, not only are you gonna get news articles about that location, but it will also aggregate stories from homeless people at that location. What really has me excited is the Get Involved section. We've made it easy for people in the United States to reach out to their legislators. All you have to do is input your address and all of your legislators, both federal and state, will come up where you can send an email. We've added some suggested copy, but it's much better if you write from the heart. You can email your legislators, you can tweet to them, you can Facebook, or you can give them a call. I looked around and I could not find a national movement working to end homelessness where people, the general public, could easily take action. So I created one. Click on Get Involved, input your address, and let your federal and state legislators know that you want ending homelessness and the affordable housing crisis to be a priority. This new invisible people is going to explode. The only thing that's limiting us is support. Please consider becoming a monthly donor or providing a one-time gift. And brand new, we now can accept cryptocurrency. So if you would like to donate in Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ripple, or a few others, now you can. We made it easy for you to do that on the website. Let me clarify, the new invisible people is not solutions journalism. We're an education-based nonprofit working to end homelessness. We have now added educational content, we will always have first-person stories raw and edited from homeless people. You don't get any more authentic than that. We've added writers who are going to be writing about homelessness, and now we have an engagement strategy with advocacy software, making it easy for you in the United States to contact your legislators and make ending homelessness a priority. This new invisible people will reach more people, educate more people, and hopefully wake up a few politicians in the process. And it's all made possible because of you. We only receive 5,000 a year in grant funding. The rest of the funding comes from people like you. And I know times are tough, a lot of you just can't afford to donate even though you want to. Sharing Invisible People content helps reach outside of the social services network to new networks, and I'm so grateful to all of you that share our content. In a couple of weeks, I have a birthday coming up. On March 13th, I turn 58. I've added a link down below to a Facebook birthday fundraiser. I'm trying to raise $5,000 to help support Invisible People's important work. Please consider giving $29, which is half my age, to help support Invisible People. I've been doing this for 10 years now, and 
it feels like we're just starting. This is a brand new season, a brand new Invisible People. And 2019 and on are going to be amazing.